Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, then you probably don't know that I used to use Manjaro Linux, which is an Arch based distro. And I really liked the distro because of the way it was structured. And I even made videos about it. But recently, it became so unstable that I had to make a switch. Some of the biggest issues for me was their track record of, you know, uh, having such really poor security. And Manjaro has let their SSL certificates expire for twice. And you know what they said to this answer like you can see that they said since we forgot to update our SSL certificate in time and please use the following workaround and then they gave a workaround which is like updated to like 2015 something right and now many of you say that this is a old incident no it's not like this thing happened like some months ago approximately five or six months ago and that's for the second time okay and when it comes to you know stability which is what they call this voice for when arch pushes new packages to its repo they themselves hold these packages for two weeks you probably you know seen across their resources that manjaro holds the arch packages behind for two weeks and they talk the they talk about stability is the main reason for this but do you think that this this really adds up because in reality what this actually means is that software upgrades you know reaches to us the end user like later for no reason that's getting like bug fixes security patches and new features for literally two whole weeks and aside from you know the obvious downside that you know two weeks uh late brings to this table is it also causes a more serious issue and you end up you know uh, actually formatting your disk you're losing data actually and or is the main reason of using manzaro for me at least was the or support and being able to run and install scripts uh, for literally anything sure like sounds neat right well no actually most of these scripts are written with the assumption that we are not you know running a system that's effectively like two weeks out of the date because this thing causes a partial upgrades which are totally unsupported and at best that program will not be installing properly right but at a worst scenario it can break across your entire system and then you know with no obvious way to fix it and you end up losing the data again and actually this thing happened with me like three times so yeah there are like more reasons just like why this uh these are the reasons why i stopped using manjaro and don't like it anymore and then i was looking for something other distros based on arch and then i found endeavor os actually i knew about this but then i was like okay let's try this out and endeavor os then seems to be what manjaro was going for but it they did it properly like spoiler alert it's awesome and it's like almost my favorite distro nowadays and currently i'm using that distro if you can see my screen so if i do a pp fetch you can see i'm using endeavor os so i'm not going to go through the installing process but i'll give my reasons why i like this uh, os which is endeavor os and like why you should also try this os and you can see this is also running the latest kernel which is 5.14 arch variant and i'm using the kd plasma version the desktop environment and i'm using the kwin for window management right because at the end of the day for me like i prefer uh, for my main machine which is what i'm recording right now on like i prefer like just get started and like do the development work because on my secondary machine sometimes i run gen 2 sometimes i run arch right now it's running the archcraft os which i'll make a video on that but the package management on this one specifically endeavor os is very easy first of all like yeah you can uh, you know install the pamac but i'll prefer go with ea that's very easy even better than manjaro that used to support that and it's snappy and timely by the way and yeah you can customize it this ways the way you like for me personally i love this kde desktop environment for the development reasons and i raised it a little bit to my taste and if i go to settings you can see this is somewhat looking like uh, kde but i raised it somewhere and if i do some u fetch you can see i'm using the 
base as a arch linux and these are the like details and yeah that's about the endeavor os and they call it that they this os is towards the terminal centric os but if you want to you know install another os you can definitely do that as you can see they pro support xfc mate gnome cinnamon plasma which is what i'm running right now budgie i3 lxqt bspwm sway so you can if you want you can also get some community updates from this one but another thing i liked about the endeavor os is that when i set some of my externally installed applications such like the brave browser or maybe firefox or any other externally installed application as default it got set as default system wide and i didn't have to you know, configure anything which is pretty awesome but where in in manjaro like you'll have to do it manually and which like you know takes a few minutes of your time and that sucks kind of like i had to set it manually in manjaro but in this case like set it and it sets everywhere and also you can do short skirts the kds stuff like you can do make your own short skirts and that's pretty handy and if you want you can also do custom short skirts if we talk about the you know system management and specifically ram management this thing is totally like awesome as you can see uh, i'm having 30 gb of ram but it's using only 3.7 gb because uh, right now i'm recording also i have docker installed and i have other discords running and i have some other you know applications that are running in the background that's why it's taking this much amount of you know ram but generally when i installed this application this uh, endeavor os it took around 700 to 800 meg megabytes but as you know that vanilla arch use around like 500 to 600 megabits so wherein endeavor uses around like 700 to 800 mb so yeah like it's just two 200 megabits of like extra memory which is totally fine and like if you having any distro that's like using less than 1 gb on booting that means yeah that's a good one but Manjaro was like a seriously memory hungry one and yes it does not hold updates which is a bigger plus point because it doesn't break the system that way and it's totally your choice if you want to upgrade you can do it and if not then you don't it makes sure that the applications if you like uh, install the update or not it will run perfectly so that's a very good feature and and then this is the website of them like endeavoros.com and you can go and check this voice and yeah this is a pretty awesome voice i'm really liking this voice because of its you know stability and the security management they also have this uh, kind of endeavor voice like apps info log tool welcome scenario i'll just go with the apps info this will give you a little bit of idea of what i'm trying to say so you can see that these are the applications they have like have in the sense if you want you can upgrade this kind of application and if you click any of this this will open the man page uh, if you don't know about man page man page means the manual page so it's a kind of neat feature like they added in so yeah and if you like really want to try this out uh, you can check the latest release from this endeavor OS website and i can install it and i can say you that yeah this is a very good OS. like it's a promising OS right now and guys uh that's it for today and if you like my content please do subscribe i'm uploading videos regularly and my goal is to get 1000 subs in 30 days and please subscribe guys and like the video so that the youtube algorithm pushes you to more people and thank you bye